I heard people in the hallway, yeah, you know, I might skip this session. You know, I've heard a bunch of motivational speakers. Well, maybe you have, honey, but you've never heard me. People consider me one of the fastest rising speakers in the industry, and I only execute two simple things that you can remember, and it's very easy for you to go home and execute. One, you better be really, really good at what you do. Thank you for that one hand clap. <laughs> you know, it's baffling to me that people want to make a lot of money, but they're not good. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you want to be rich, you get all these fantasies, all this money you want to make, but the reality is you're not good. The first fundamental to being successful in business or anything you do, you have to be really, really good. Michael Jordan is really, really good. Tiger Woods is really, really good. Oprah Winfrey is really, really good. Martha Stewart is really, really good. The first key to being successful and making a lot of money, you got to be really, really good. You must provide exceptional service to your customers. In other words, when you show up, you solve the problem. But that's not enough. The second thing your customers are looking for, they want to enjoy the experience while you provide that service. Confidence is arrogance under control. I believe you should be as confident as you can be without crossing the line into arrogance. And here's why. Arrogant people stop growing. Arrogant people stop developing because arrogant people think they have arrived. You guys know arrogant people, don't you? Raise your hand if you know someone arrogant. Now, a couple of you guys didn't raise your hand and I know why. That person's sitting right next to you right now, aren't they? Don't look at them, don't look at them! <laughs> My college basketball coach taught me how to sell. He came into my house not to sell a tangible product. He came into my house to sell me a hope and a dream. See, most people who buy into the franchise of Express don't buy into anything more than a hope and a dream. When you sell a hope and a dream, you can't afford to be bad. When you sell a hope and a dream, you can't afford to be average. When you sell a hope and a dream, you can't afford to be mediocre. See, if you sell a tangible product and do a bad job, if I need it bad enough, I might still buy it. But when you sell something tangible, you can't afford to be bad. Let me give you some more advice. If you want to know how to navigate this economic situation, you better sell, you better sell, you better sell. Honey, you can sell your way out of this mess. Does that make sense? So when I learned that principle of how to sell, that's how I grew my business. That's how I doubled my MBA income. Here's reality. People want to buy from people they like. Raise your hand if you want to make more money. The one thing I learned about business when I left sports is people want to buy from people they like. If you have the ability to hire people, don't you ever hire a person who's not likable. The likability factor from what I've learned, and let me give you a little bit of advice, I've doubled my MBA income in business in less than three years. Because I pay attention and I execute, and I learn right away, great salespeople are likable. They have incredible social skills. So the only reason I've been able to double my MBA income in business is that I know the power of likability. <laughs> One day the doorbell rings, and a guy was at the door in a three-piece suit named Clem Haskins from the University of Minnesota. He was different than the other coaches because all the other coaches wore their university-issued colors. They would come in with red and white, blue and gold, but not Coach Haskins. He came in in a three-piece suit, fresh haircut, looked like success, looked like money. 
Right away when he walked into my house, he was differentiated because everybody else looked just alike, but he looked like success and he looked like money. Let me tell you something. If you come into my office and you call yourself an expert and you're going to consult me on how to grow my business, you better look like success and you better look like you got some money because if you don't look like success, if you don't look like you got some money, I'm not going to have confidence that you can go and help me get some. When I played in the NBA, I hung around NBA players and I made NBA money. When I left professional sports, I got around top-notch professional speakers and before I knew it, I was voted Speaker of the Year. Why? Because of my fellowship and who I hang around. Your salary will be the average of your five closest friends. If you find yourself around someone at this conference who's negative, who's complaining, who's pissing and moaning, tell them you suck and get away from them. That's what a pity party is. It's when you have a weak mind and you meditate on the wrong thing over and over and over again. Over and over and over again. In sports, we call it being weak-minded. I love to compete against weak-minded athletes because I don't care how athletic you are, if you're weak-minded, I'm going to win every single time. Hear me and hear me good. 90% of your life is good. 90% of your life is good. 90% of your marriage is good. 90% of your industry is good. 90% of your children are good. Which means 10% of your life sucks. 10% of your industry sucks. 10% of your marriage sucks. I know 10% of your children suck. <laughs> what do you focus on? The 90% of your life that is good or the 10% of your life that sucks? Because here's the reality. I remember fans coming to the ball game to encourage athletes. They would always come to the ball game and encourage athletes. Fans were very encouraging. They would say stuff like this. Boo, you suck! You suck! Box out! Get a rebound! Boo! Boo! Your garbage box out! Suck it up! Get tough! Suck it up! Get tough! Yep, fans are very encouraging. So now I'm a motivational speaker. I do 100 programs a year. And so last night in the hotel, someone recognized me and said, you know what, Walter Brown, you're our speaker. Wow, you, you, you see in the industry, we had a really tough day today in the market. We had a really tough day in the market. Oh my God, I'm an advisor. It's tough out here. What's your message, Mr. Motivational Speaker? I said, oh yeah, I got a message for you. <laughs> I've been waiting a long, long time to share. <laughs> Here's my message. Suck it up. <laughs> Get tough. Suck it up.